Hi, I'm Myra Kornfeld. I'm a cookbook author and cooking instructor, and I have lots of tips and recipes to make your cooking life a whole lot easier. One of the first signs of spring are all the beautiful greens that show up at both farmers markets and your local markets. So today, I'm going to take advantage of the variety and make a cuckoo. A cuckoo is a Persian frittata, but it's really more like a crustless quiche. In the baking, we'll form the bottom crust and the top crust, and it'll be like this beautiful, delicious, spring greens pie. I have way more greens than we need for this pie, but I'm going to show you the selection that we're working with. This is chicory, so it's going to give a little bit of bitterness to it. We have here some arugula and some upland cress, so that's going to give this like peppery, fresh spring bite to it. This is Claytonia, which I got at my local farmer's market, really delicate flavor. And here is sorrel, which gives a beautiful lemony herbal flavor. I'm gonna start by wilting my greens. So I have a skillet here and I've just put a drop of water to get it going. And altogether, I wanna have about four cups of cooked greens at the end. So really basically start with three to four pounds of fresh greens. I'm wilting everything except the sorrel. We need to pre-cook the greens a bit just because they contain a lot of liquid and we want to squeeze a, that out. I keep adding more as they start to wilt and I'm turning them with my tongs. These greens are properly wilted now. I'm going to move them to a strainer to drain. Yes. I have some olive oil heating up and I'm adding a little over a cup of onion to saute these till they're nice and caramelized. These onions are almost ready. Now I'm throwing in about four cloves of minced garlic. The sorrel I'm going to add raw because I want that fresh, lemony, herbal taste. Now it's time to chop the drained greens into bite-sized pieces. I have here a tablespoon of butter. In five minutes in the oven will be perfect. Starting with four eggs that I'm beating. Half a teaspoon of salt. I'm using a tablespoon of flour and a half a teaspoon of baking powder. You could use any kind of flour that you want. Now keep in mind, it's such a small amount that even unbleached white flour is okay as long as you don't have gluten intolerance. It's just gonna give some added lift to have that flour in there with the baking powder. So I have my greens plus my chopped sorrel, the onions and garlic. I'm adding a cup of sheep's milk feta cheese, as well as a little sheep's milk gruyere. You could totally do this without the cheese and it would be fine. And you can use other vegetables as well, but this is a delicious combo. Sprinkle a black pepper to finish it off. See how the eggs just disappear into the greens? But they are going to bind it all together. So now I could just swirl around the butter to make sure it coats the whole pan. Panning it down and we're ready to bake. The first part gets 20 minutes in the oven at 350, and that was 20 minutes. And when you see some browning along the side, it's time to add that extra tablespoon of butter, and you can use coconut oil or olive oil as well, to the top. And then we'll put it back in the oven so it could develop a gorgeous, deep, golden top crust. There's no need to spread the butter. The oven will do it for us. Beautifully browned. One thing that's great about this pie is that it holds for days in the refrigerator. You could just slice off a piece and heat up what you want to eat or reheat the whole thing. Eggs are a sign of rebirth in the Judeo-Christian tradition and put them together with all of these greens and you've got a winning spring combination that's really nutritious and delicious too.